All right, people, what the hell is going on? I guess this will be a outside walking dog, walking talk because ain't no light in the house. I got light in the house, but it's too dark to record now. And it's noisy outside, so whatever. But it is Thanksgiving, and that sun is bright. Ain't too much going on, so I'll get to talking to y'all in just a minute. So, it is, like I said, it's Thanksgiving and I'm just sitting at the house today. Ain't too much going on. Uh, getting ready to hopefully not walk into something in this dark ass shop while I got these shades on. But I can hear the cats in there stirring around. They heard me come in here. I'm not going, I'm not going back in there today. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh what's thanksgiving ain't too much going on like i said i'm here i'm gonna be at home today unless something happened <laughs> not nothing bad but you know unless somebody said hey i'm coming by there to pick you up or blah 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 or something like that i'll be at the house it's like between 10 and 11 o'clock now so uh I've had no plans of doing anything my tenant she's with her family today she left yesterday to go do her little stuff with her little fam and then her grandmother just died day before yesterday too so they got all that going on and like i say i got a lot to be thankful for as far as thanksgiving and why why is this over here it's fucking broom i don't know why this broom is over here put shit back where it belongs um i'm not thankful for that anyway um, I got a lot to be grateful for. I got a lot to be uh, thankful for and, and all of that. So is this is time we're supposed to be taking to take all of that stuff into account. Then, you know, uh, I do. I got a lot to be thankful for and not for the rundown of this right now. But, you know, I got I'm upright. I'm pseudo healthy. I'm not my health is fucked up but you know what i'm saying i'm able to move around and and stuff uh at least at the moment i am um you know i'm i got roof like most poop of people i have two roofs <laughs> most people have a roof over their head whatever i got two roofs on my head this is one roof and it's a roof over the over next door vehicles and shit you know i got two trucks uh, I got as bad as my social life has been over the last 10 years uh, and it has been bad I do have friends so yeah and even a lot of people that I don't talk to or uh, you know have anything in common with or, you know you know I guess you consider people friends that you don't associate with you know what I'm saying just it's whatever so I got that uh, we had the stuff going on this year with the pandemic and uh, unemployment and all that other shit. And I guess I can be thankful that I'm still upright from that. And uh, that's about it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still here. I'm still moving around. Um, I'm still uh, making plans and dealing with shit. So uh, that's about as much as you can uh, wish for in this life because, you know, the story ends when you don't have to. And you don't have to until your ass croak. You know, until you, no matter if you rich, poor, whatever the fuck, you got to get up and deal with shit. That, <laughs> when you don't have to deal with shit, that, you, done probably, uh, you done probably kicked it <laughs> for the most part. 
So, um, damn cat, man. It's just, you, I'm about to, the reason why I don't go back there because the more I go back there where them cats are, the more likely I am to just put them outside, which I have to do. It's fucking six cats back there. And the five ones are not kittens anymore. They, they getting big. So you can't have six cats just in the, you know, in that back area back there. So they're about to be liberated. They, I mean, they're going to be on the property. It ain't like I'm just kicking them out, you know, just, man, I do. But they're going to be, they're going to be outside cats. I can't have them in the house because they tearing that goddamn shit up. Y'all can hear them scratching in, on the fucking door. Listen, you can hear them. They scratching on the fucking door and shit. Get your little fingers back over here. I don't know how this shit got like this. What? What you say? No. Look at that. Yeah, they they don't like being back there. <laughs> they don't have shit to be thankful for. But it is Thanksgiving, so um they get uh they get uh salt food today. When they gonna get it, I don't know. But somewhere along the line they get soft food today. So um I'm gonna have to uh I might have to go back there to grab the damn food and um I might have to mix it up over here, grab a couple of cans of canned food, um, put the mix it up with the the, the dry food, you know, mix this shit up in so it's enough for all six of them to eat and do that. And that'll be their Thanksgiving dinner. And for me today, I'm debating, man. I had barbecue yesterday. Oh man. You know, that's Uber Eats and I've been man. You know, my money getting kind of funny. And um, I think today I'm going to have to just stick it out and eat what's in the house. I told a friend of mine, she was like, what you going to eat? And I was like, fucking, uh, what, uh, I got oatmeal. I had a bowl of oatmeal this morning. I said, you see what I'm saying? You see, yeah, I, I know y'all heard that. This might pick up a whole lot of shit. Yeah, but I got cabbage and, um, yeah, I got a head of cabbage that I have to cook before that go bad. So I'm, I'll make a pot of cabbage that'll last me for a couple of days. And I got a, a, a block of cheese. Uh, my friend brought, uh, when they went doing the little food drive shits and brought back some, a big ass thing of cheese. It looked like government cheese. <laughs> um, that thing halfway gone already. I feel, I was like, man, I just got to kind of like eat this shit like as it is. Or else it's just gonna go bad. So I can make grilled cheese sandwiches, you know. So you know, as far as that, all the rest of the shit that people bring by here, I don't, you know, I don't really want to fuck with because you know how it is when folks bring you food. You know, you want a plate, and like, nah, no, because they bring you a plate and it's just a big mash of shit. Just, I'm like, nah, man, I ain't really trying to. I don't really want to deal with that. I ain't got a taste for that shit. I don't want to. That same old shit. I seen somebody hop on they uh um on they thing today, whatever social media was. Yeah, I'm I'm up early cooking and blah blah blah, you know, and just named off every stereotypical thing ever. You know what I'm saying? Every stereotypical thing ever that people make on Thanksgiving. That's that's what she made. And I'm just like, no. Nah. No, thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If somebody just said, like my friend, she said they was barbecuing or whatever. I'm just like, all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, they barbecuing shit. Motherfucker, you come up, man, I got turkey, ham, dressing. You know, I got pecan pies and all this other shit. And I was just like, you know, cornbread, uh, uh, fucking uh, string bean casserole and mac and cheese. And I was, I was just like, man, just... I want none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I want none of that shit. Now somebody sitting that shit over there with, on a little ragged ass paper plate with all this shit just jammed up on it. It's just like, you know, half the shit, you can't even heat up at the same time because some of it ain't supposed to really be uh, hot and some of it's supposed to be it's better off cold. It's just, no, nah, no thank you. I don't really want to deal with it. Not that I, ain't, not that I won't be grateful because I'm pretty sure somebody going to send some food by here. 
But most times, like I say, if you get food from people like you, you just really ain't familiar with, you, you know, I've had to throw away some shit. I'm pretty for sure I threw away some food last last year. The way I was just like, uh, man, them damn cats getting on my nerves. But anyway, like I said, yeah, I, I ain't really went dealing with that. But right now, what I what I'm gonna do uh, to start off my Thanksgiving so I don't spend it all day sitting in front of the TV on YouTube and playing Call of Duty. See, you, the cat is up there. Yeah, y'all hear the motherfucker. The cat is up in the fucking attic. The cat is in the fucking attic. Okay, that's as close as you can get to getting out of there. I got cats in the attic and I got cats tearing up this fucking door. Did you see this motherfucker on the window? This motherfucker is on the... The other side of that door is just like that. That motherfucker is just... I got to get him out of here. I got. I, they got to go outside. Because the other side of that door is not going to look like that. It's going to be clawed the fuck up. I've already seen some areas on the wall in there where they didn't scratch the hell out the damn wall. I'm going to have to get somebody to fix that shit. So before they before the, this whole building end up looking like that, they gonna go, they can go outside and scratch up all the fucking trees and shit they want. Anyway, y'all have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm for the uh, what was it? Oh, I was I'm about to uh go through here and uh, this is the shop. This is my shop, you know that my dad left, and um, I'm about to just look through here right quick. And see what little shit I gotta go. Uh, I can pick up and throw in a dumpster outside because the dumpster outside is 140, 40 something dollars a month, and I don't fill that motherfucker up every month. So, um, and I probably won't fill it up either this this month. But I gotta put something in there. So I'm gonna look through here, see what little bits I got. The trash can, one of those trash cans got trash in it. Fill it up, or well, not fill it up, but put something in it. And uh, get to the point where I can cancel that shit. I'll be thankful for that. I tell you that. That's a hundred and forty something dollars a month. I can uh, put back in my motherfucking uh, in my checking account because that money come out of my disability. And uh, yeah, if you if you on disability, you know you probably ain't you ain't get much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm for to do. Y'all enjoy your day. Don't eat too much. You know, don't be extra gluttonous and all of that, whatnot. And uh, I'm going to catch y'all later on the next uh, walk and talk. Because I know I hadn't done many lately. But I've, I've been sitting in front, of the, in front of the TV doing a whole bunch of nothing. So I'm going to catch y'all later.